My neighbor across the street kindly donated some PVC cement a while back when I ran out and these pipes are large enough. I don't know how much of this stuff I'm going to end up using that he gave me. But thank you, neighbor. Ah, there's quite a bit left here. But just to show you how we're going to do this, load up the wad here, make a wad like that. Just go around a few times. Now as I compress this into place, it'll push the adhesive up the, up the side of the tube, but it won't get inside inside the cell itself. That looks good there. Ah, smells good. Sorry. Former life. Now, I don't know how well you can see this, but inside the top lip of the pipe came right up to the stop for the the uh, collar, which is exactly what I wanted. So this will take a little while to dry too, but it it will sit in the in the tube like this. There will be plenty of uh, plenty of space above the plate assembly, above the plate brick for the any um, any bubbles to burst and settle out so that what exits the electrolyzer chamber is pure gas hopefully we don't we, we don't want um, we want to limit the amount of actual fluid that escapes this in the form of bubbles so I've allowed for quite a bit of space at the top there will also be a um, a blowout uh, safety device to um, relieve any pressure should a backfire occur and actually get back into the cell. It is very unlikely, but you've got to be careful. So we'll be taking all the precautions here. And so this is the completed unit. If I take the cap off, what will happen is, however I decide to attach this to the electrodes on the outside, they will be suspended from the clean-out cap and the whole thing will just screw in as one assembly down into the opening of the tube. Like so. Okay, getting back to the cell itself, uh, the plate brick for a moment. <clears throat> you can see I have taken and laid it flat against the bench and I've taken some pieces of uh, some scrap pieces of acrylic and three-quarter inch thick pine board to make this rigid so that it gives me a stiff surface to drill down against. Now I'm going to drill first a pilot hole in the top strap and I'm going to then complete it all the way down through the remaining straps so that my threaded rod can go down and attach the electrodes. Oh, much better. Now I will finish out the diameter of that hole with a quarter inch drill bit. <laughs> and there you have it. I've created the first hole. Now the remaining ones will simply be aligned by making a dimple on the next plate down with the quarter inch bit that will give me a locator for my pilot hole. And now I'll just complete the holes all the way through, do that for both sides, create my threaded rods to go through, and attach it with bolts and hanger straps that go to the clean out cap at the top of the cell. That's all there is to it.
There we go. So I'll drill my pilot hole. And I can see that as I create the pilot hole, my drill bit is centered down through the quarter inch holes that are that it extends through. So that's a good thing. Oh, it sounds like my battery's gonna die. <laughs> Figures. Whatever. At least I got the pilot hole drilled through. And then I'll I'll just finish the hole going through the other way. And they should line up reasonably well where I can take my threaded rod and just go right through and clamp clamp them bolt them all together. I'll show the completed assembly in just a minute. Okay, I just want to show you the threaded rod assemblies and the nuts that I've assembled through the ends of the electrode extender bars. Alright, and at the top now I'm just going to bend one over this way and I'll bend this one over the other way and they will align laterally across the top of the cell so that I can suspend it from the top and it will hang straight inside the cell. Uh, the other point I wanted to make is this when you're drilling the holes I had this standing vertically make sure that's all on the camera yeah uh, I had this standing vertically and I was deburring the the holes after I had drilled them and I thought oh my god dummy uh, a couple of chips fell inside the plates and with gap spacing this close that could have been disaster and fortunately I was able to blow it out with compressed air and there are no short circuits in here so when you're deburring the holes leave it sideways like that take it take it from somebody who learned the hard way um, and in just a minute hopefully I'll have this assembled to the clean out cap and show it to you being assembled inside the, the cell body I've pretty much decided about how far I had to spread the electrode bars, the drop down electrode bars, across the top so that they will span the width of the inside of the clean out cap when I assemble it, uh, make the final assembly here. Now, if I were to just bend these over straight, I would end up with angled uh, mating surfaces to the bottom here. So what I need to do is I need to bend this over such in such a way that they may flush or flat with the bottom surface of the inside of the clean out cap so that when I tighten it down I get a good uh, airtight seal. And the way I'm going to do that is just take a piece of plexiglass here as a straight edge and then I'm going to mark a line going across the two electrodes down far enough where after I bend it I can drill my holes for the, the bolts that will go through and I'll describe the lines and bend it according to those lines. After I bend it, it, if I were to bend this one for instance, it's going to angle outward this way even further and I'm going to have to probably do some trimming along this back edge after I fold it over so that it will then fit underneath the cap to be bolted and I'll take and put the holes here and here far enough away from the square nut on the top of the clean out cap so that the wing nuts won't interfere. I've clamped it in the vise at the angle that I've drawn on the on the edge of the, the band and I'm just going to take it now with a hammer make sure it's good and tight in the vise so it doesn't shift. And I'm going to bend it flat at the angle that I wanted. And now I shift it off to the side and I end up with the wings that I was after when I first started this whole project. <laughs> 